morning. I hope you have, even though it just started. <laughs> and uh, I hope you're looking at a, a beautiful sun sunrise like I am right now. It's it's up already, but um, there's some lingering clouds from the rain last night, and it's just it's a pretty view over there. So go out and check that out if you're still um, if you're watching in the morning and can catch a little bit of the sunrise before it gets too high in the sky. It's beautiful out here. Uh, we'll start out with a prayer and then I want to just talk a little bit about, um, well, I'll, I'll tell you <laughs> after we pray, but uh, I, I talked a little bit with some of the ladies who were quilting on Monday and um, thought I'd share a little bit of their wisdom. So, uh, but let's start out with a prayer and then we'll, we'll get right into it. Let, it, let us pray. God, thank you for today and thank you for this opportunity to be together. Uh, we ask that you fill us with something good to go out into the world to do your work and to do um, something good with our days and our energy today. Uh, we ask that you fill us, something, fill us up with your spirit each day uh, and that we go and uh, strengthen our faith and go out into the world with hope and lead with love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, so Monday, I uh, walked upstairs and was um, talking to a few of the ladies who were quilting, and I, there was a beautiful quilt, a couple of beautiful quilts that they were working on, and so I asked, who made these? Thinking it was somebody in the room, but nobody who was in that quilting room had um, put together the square. I don't know the correct terms. I should have done a little bit of homework before I started talking about this, but put together the squares and um, designed the the top and the back of the quilt uh, and then they had put you know something in between and they were tying them together but I asked who, who did this which one of y'all made this beautiful quilt or these two beautiful quilts uh, and they said well none of us who are here today did that um, these are are you know designs that we've had for a while now and they started to talk about we think it was so and so who um, used to come around and and then told the story about how they got all of this fabric. It wasn't just that they had bought it, but they had uh, sort of inherited it from somebody else. And um, there was a story behind these quilts. And I, I thought it was interesting because they, they were spending all their time working on these two quilts and finishing them, even though they hadn't been the ones who had started them. And then I thought it back to whoever had designed these two quilts didn't know how they would end up, right? They might have hoped that one day somebody would finish them. They might have had um, a design that they had in their mind that they told somebody about to try to finish them a certain way, but they didn't see how these quilts were finished. They, with faith, <laughs> started them and hoped that one day they would make them make their way out into the world. Um, and, you know, little do they know, but they, it, it happened. There, there's quilts, so whether or not they finished them on Monday, I don't know, but uh, one day those quilts will be out into the world and um, somebody will be using them to, to keep warm at night or something like that. And that was fascinating to me. First that uh, I just assumed that you, you start a quilt, you end a quilt, and it's, it's your quilt and you do that. But uh, the fascinating idea of picking up where somebody else left off, right? Um, and not necessarily, Maybe some of the ladies in that room didn't know the person who had started that quilt, but that didn't matter, right? They were all doing the same kind of work for the same reasons, and they had the same sort of skills, but maybe some people did some things different. And like I said, just picking up where somebody else left off and making sure that the work was done eventually. And I, I love that. And I I think about the ways that that speaks to our faith too, right? We, we're doing we're picking up where a lot of our ancestors have left off in our work of faith and our lives of faith and our communities of faith. There are people who have gone way before us who are doing some of the things that we're doing and we're just trying to um, use our own energy to do it. Maybe we change things here and there. Uh, maybe we tell the stories of the people who came before us a little bit here and there, but I, I just love that, um, that image of of somebody starting a quilt and then somebody years later, maybe decades later in some cases, finishing it. Uh, and, and those two people maybe never meeting, but, but the work being done by generations of folks and, and that kind of thing. And so I, I loved that story and I thought that uh, we could do a better job of, of recognizing that that's kind of how we're doing our own work 
in the church and in our lives to that somebody came before us in order for us to be where we are right now. Um, and that's just a beautiful image. And I think uh, that we could learn a little bit from from the, the ladies who were quilting and the, the idea of, of working together to, to bring these quilts into fruition. And, um, I, I just thought I'd share that today and, and see how it speaks to you in your life of faith. Um, if you have any comments or any examples of that kind of thing, or uh, if you want to talk about your own quilting stories, that, that would be great to hear anything in the comments. But um, let's go out into the day and, uh, and think about the work that we're doing. Maybe spend a little bit of time uh, giving some honor to the people who came before us. And um, also knowing that, that our work might not be done. We think about bringing the kingdom into this world, right? We talk about uh, God's kingdom coming and um, might not be something that we ourselves see. But part of having faith is hoping that it happens one day, whether or not it happens in our lifetime or, or the next generation or the generations 50,000 years from now. We're, we're working together, hopefully not that long. <laughs> We're working together to, to make God's kingdom happen in this world. And, um, and that's a humbling thing and it's an empowering thing all at once. So those are some thoughts that I had this morning. Go away with those and, and add your own to the comments if you'd like. And uh, we'll go into the weekend seeing what God has in store for us. But let us pray and then we'll, we'll get right out into the world. Let us pray. God, we thank you for the examples that you have put in our life of people of faith. Uh, people in our families, people in our church communities, people uh, in our work setting, strangers that we meet on a daily basis. Thank you for these examples of great faith. And thank you for the ways that we can collaborate with people we love and people we don't even know uh, to do your work in this world. We ask that you send us out with uh, hope that our work does something great in the, in the communities around us um, and that even if we don't see your kingdom fully come into play in our world. Uh, we see glimpses of it here and there, and we have confidence that we are at work to bring it each and every day of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day, and uh, I'll see you on Sunday.